University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. Hello and welcome back to the show. You are just in time for a small talk brought to you by University Federal Credit Union and it is about Myers Meats. It is about that, yes. Yes. So I am super excited to share this with you because you haven't seen this yet. Yeah, I, I, I've heard of Myers Meats, but I don't mm -hmm. really know too much about them. Well, Except that they're meat, so I like them. Of course, and their meat selection is amazing because that's you know what they focus on. But um, it is a family-owned business that goes back to Grandpa, so you know this is going to be a fantastic Grandpa story. Grandpa Meyer? Yes. I know him. And this, there's been a store up here in Salt Lake forever, and then now the son has taken one and opened up one in Highland. Junior? Is, yeah, junior. There's a few juniors. There's a few outstretches. There's a lot of Myers. I know him. Around, and they they're all doing stuff very successfully in the food industry. Here, take a look. University Credit Union presents Small Talk. Today, I am here at Myers Meats with Marshall Meyer. Marsh, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm so excited to talk, tell your story because anytime someone says they absolutely did not want to do the family business and then here we are, you know it's going to be good. So you've got a lot of fun things going on with how this came to be. So let's start at the very beginning. How did your family get going in the grocery industry? Well, my, my grandparents were in the grocery business back in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh -huh. And in the early 40s, they moved their family out to Salt Lake. Okay. And moved to Holiday and opened up a small grocery store in Holiday. And it's that so, it was there for a very long time. That's where was, your dad yes. took over, right? My dad uh, and my uncles were in the business and cousins. And so we all worked in the business. We grew up in the business. Uh huh. And um, when I went off to college, I decided this is what I want to do, uh -huh. and so my degree was in finance, and I thought I was headed toward that direction, and I ended up back right working back home. for my father. Yeah. As you should, because this is absolutely fantastic. So, um, how long were you there? Um, in the uh, uh, during the '80s and the '90s and into 2000, I. I was involved uh, in running the meat and delis in a store called The Store. Uh -huh. uh, my brother had the store in Holiday. My other brother had Myers Chicken. Uh, in 92, he closed the store in, in Holiday and turned it into a Myers Catering. Okay, So, which you can obviously order and, and right. have. Right, yep. he's still there. And my brother, Jeremy, still has the Myers Chicken Okay. In Holiday. So not that you are old enough to retire, but I am thinking that you were sort of working that way, or at least your wife, Dixie, was thinking you were working in that direction, and instead you had a little ulterior plan. Tell me, yeah, tell me um, how this store came to be. Well, um, I, I've always wanted to do my own, uh, my own store, uh -huh. and so I started working on it, and uh, she just thought it was uh, kind of just a wild hair I had, and it would go away, and, uh -huh. and um, when I started to, she started to see it come together, she realized that I was serious about it. This was a real and thing? This was a real thing. Mm -hmm. And we met at my home and we started putting this together uh, with my cousin and my son. And uh, This is a whole family thing happening here. Tell us who's over what? Well, we have Chris Holbrook. Is, uh, I've, I've known him for 20 some odd years. He was raised in, the, or he uh, started at 15 years old working in the produce business. Mm -hmm. So he runs our produce. Uh, my cousin Gil uh, runs the meat department, my son runs the grocery, and uh, his wife Chrissy runs the bakery. An amazing so, bakery. She even yeah. has her own line now, right? Right. She, uh, Chrissy's Cookies and Chrissy's line. She's uh, uh, developed breads and cookies and cakes and and for a bakery. All very high-end specialty products in that they are low in the preservative ingredient list, right. very homemade, like amazing, amazing very, food. Very and clean ingredients. Your meat, of course, is amazing. It's an experience to come here because I think your meat and your produce and your bakery and everything here is not what you find at the average grocery store. It is, That's the, correct. It's a step above, let's be honest. I can say that <laughs> about it. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank but you. But before we get too far ahead, um, Back to our, our cute little Dixie here. She uh, really wasn't going to believe you right up until the bitter end because you got your loan through University Credit Union. Right. And you said that they did you a little bit of a favor and some marriage counseling, the boys there. <laughs> well, we went in uh, to uh, sign the papers and get the process rolling, start the construction. And uh, in that meeting, there were uh, 
executives from the credit union and from the SBA and uh, she did not know any of them. She walked into the room and just blurted out, uh, I want everyone to know that I'm opposed to this and I'm not very happy about it. <laughs> and so they, uh, they sat her down and talked to her and said, hey, your husband and Larry and the guys have all done their homework on this. Uh -huh. This is a good project. It wouldn't ma have made it past our desk if we didn't think it was a good project. I wonder if that so. was a first time or if that's something we can now start offering for them. That, it you might. know, if your significant other isn't really on board, we just send them in to talk to the guys at uh, University Credit Union. Could They'll, be a service they could offer. Yeah, we could yeah. add it on their website or something like that. So that's fantastic. So she was finally on board once they talked to her. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then why Highland and how was the building process of this store? Well, we picked the Highland Alpine area because um, uh, the type of products that we do, higher end, and um, the uh, income per capita down mm -hmm. here kind of meets the requirements that we need to, to operate a store like this. And um, so um, that's why we chose this location. And the building process, you were involved from the ground up, basically. Right. We Blueprints, architects, you designed the store. Right. We designed the store. Um, and uh, we worked on it for a, a good year and a half the way we wanted it and the layout, the decor, the equipment and everything, we, we put that all together. That's awesome. So. Okay, so what advice would you give somebody who has always wanted to do something, they have a dream, maybe they're not sure if they should be retiring, if it's too late, what would you tell them to do? Well, I, I think first you have to do your homework, study, study what you're doing, look at your location, um, look at your product that you're going to offer, Get bring in outside help mm -hmm. and get opinions, do market studies, market research to help you put it together, make sure you've got a viable product. And then it's and not so scary. No. no yeah. It's, uh, it, uh, it, it, once you do your homework and, um, and, and let other people look at it, it, it helps move it along. So you'd say just get out there and do it. Give it a do shot. It. Start hitting the ground running basically and work hard and work and work hard that is one thing about owning your own business is and i understand where dixie's coming from as far as not really wanting this to fly because it you know it never stops it is around the clock and you have to love what you do and i can see that you yeah. love what you do and thank you the boy who didn't want to own the grocery store definitely changed <laughs> changed his mind so um thank you so much for chatting with me today now i i heard a rumor your dad is in the store he is is there a chance we could have a quick little hello to him, we, the guy who started it all? We can get him. All right, that would be fantastic. That, so Let's go I'll say hi. Thank okay. You. Okay, I am joined by Robert Meyer. Robert, thank you so much for letting us interrupt your shopping. Oh, it's wonderful just to be here with you. <laughs> I, I was so excited when I heard you were here because I heard your son was a little bit of a stinker and I wanted to hear, I actually wanted to talk to you the last time we had a conversation about how he got his start. He said he didn't always want to be in the grocery business. What do you think about that? I can uh, go along with that. Neither did I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you kind of had the same situation because it was yes. your dad that started it. Yes. And how did you get into it then? My father bought his first little delicatessen in 1934. Uh -huh. And I was seven years old and I'd love to be with him. Yeah. And uh, I loved to, to work with him. And uh, it just grew. And, uh, uh, and then your store in Holiday was there for how long? Well, we, we started in Cincinnati. Uh huh. And uh, we moved to Utah in 1943. Mm -hmm. And he bought the, the grocery store in Holiday in 1943. 44, 45, while I was in the Navy. Uh -huh. And uh, when I got out of the Navy, I, we There's just your, worked together. There's your job. You, these, still, yeah. you still liked working with your dad, so that's fantastic. Till the day he died. Oh, that is amazing. So tell me what you think about this store here and what Marsh has done here in Highland. I think it's wonderful. It is beautiful. It, it is a beautiful store. And uh, the nice part about it is it's not only is he working with his family, but uh, we feel the employees are family. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a good place to train your kids. <laughs> How to work hard. Yeah. 
owning yeah. your own business will definitely teach you how to work hard, that's yeah. for sure, and not sleep a lot. And uh, my father <laughs> taught us that if it had his name on it, Meyer, it had to be high quality and um, fair priced. And that is exactly what you do here. Thank you. And so your legacy continues, continues yeah. on, making your dad proud, making you proud, all the way through, huh? Right. Well, oh my goodness, absolute pleasure. I will let you get back to your grocery list here and I won't keep you much longer. But um, thank you for chatting with me and uh, thanks for leaving such a beautiful legacy for us to all enjoy. Thank you for the opportunity. All right. Appreciate thanks. you. All right, don't go anywhere. Rich and I will be right back right after this. Talk 365's Small Talk is made possible by University Credit Union.